Good morning, I am Colin. This is Shine Automotive. If you know nothing about our channel, we're a car project channel, but we also do a week in China, as we've now called it, which is our midweek episode. So it is Monday morning, and today we have this Vauxhall Corsair in for an oil and filter service and an MOT. So I'm just going to check it now, put it on the ramp, check it over, make sure it's all right. So that's the first job for Monday morning, and it's nice and early because I'm hoping. We're going to nip off somewhere this morning quickly for an hour, so I want to get this all drained up and the parts ordered on the way if it needs any. Right, focus, this ended up, not the Focus, that little Corsa out the back. This little Corsa has had discs on the front. A new exhaust, because that's broken. So discs on the front, nice and cheap. And a uh, exhaust flexi. So there we go. And me and Sam are just flying over to Croft, taking the seat and the harness out the little um, Endura K for Mr. Boron. And then um, I'm picking up a wheel bearing for the trailer. Because when I went to Anglesey for the 24 hour endurance race, there was a little bit of an issue on the way back. Oh no, on the way there. I lost the wheel. The wheel bearing collapsed. It's there. I didn't, it didn't just fly off and go, I'd, I'd just seen it happening, smoking, and I, I jumped on the top of it, so. Right, I'm just gonna go quickly have a. <laughs> right, so we're down at Croft on this lovely Monday morning, and we're just putting a seat in Lee's car. This engine, I don't know if you remember, in a week it shine, we had one of the silver, the silver ST. This engine's straight out of it. So obviously I'm building one of these, if you don't know, we've got one on the channel. So this is the ST for the XR Challenge. So we're just putting a passenger seat in now, looking after our arrive and drive people. Do you know what you're doing? No, but when I took the seat off, when I opened the seat, I didn't know anywhere. Right, so we're just going to have a look. Just send it. Croft where we fitted the seat and I ended up having a go in the passenger seat and it helped me out to get a bit of track knowledge because even though it's our local track I have never been around that track so I had to borrow Ryan, Ryan's trousers because I didn't have any trousers and then um, I went in the passenger seat with Lee now Lee last year stuck it on Paul in that car and that man can drive and it's given me so much track knowledge it's helped out massively so I just need to be on with getting the car finished. But the time will come. So we'll go back to the yard. We're going to get in the little Corsa because that's ready for test. I did this and pads on the exhaust, which I've already probably told you. Then we'll take that to MOT, but we've got to pick a, uh, a car up from near the MOT test station as well. Right, so we into afternoon. The Corsa's passed its test, and we are now at a Chrysler that the ignition lock has dropped a bit. So Sam is now bypassing it all in the correct procedure and then we can get it back to the yard i think it's out of mot mm. as well i'm not too sure so there we go hopefully this will be fine now i got waylaid on uh, this monday my mate fetched his van down it had a pollen filter air filter fuel filter and oil forgot to film it he likes watching the shine videos the week and shines and all so sorry james i didn't get in the video i forgot all about it don't cry don't cry. He was here for ages and he said he was off to Skype to the pub. Um, so if his missus is watching it, he was only here five minutes and he spent the rest of the time in pub. So we'll see you when we get on to 
to V. Right, Tuesday morning, and we have this van in for discs and pads, possibly calipers. Sam's on, knocking them off now. And um, <clears throat> yeah, and uh, we have a track day coming up on Monday. We've been invited by Burton Power to a track day, so we're going to get the Turbo K dug out at some point through the week in between jobs get that checked over we had got some bucket seats and some harnesses to put in but we haven't got any side rails so they might not go in this time but i might try and put the harnesses in just to hold it in a bit better we'll see lewis is um cracking on for a bit just for a couple of hours before the sun gets too hot or i might bring him in an hour just with a fiesta video that he's doing flipping a car video so he's learning a lot of stuff on there so yeah busy Tuesday morning. We're into the afternoon and we're waiting on some parts for that we can't get the calipers. So Sam's just gonna start whipping the interior out the the Turbo K now that she's gonna be a full blown track day fun car. These seats are going in Wayne's son's black K that we're getting ready for him. So he's got some nice leather seats in his first little car. So yeah, strip it out, carpets are coming out, and then that's it. Yeah, very nice. everything stripped down, he's got that new track red ending he's got the lowering suspension on and he's fitted this new front end with a radiator where it was sagged so hopefully now have you tested the bonnet to see if it works properly now i think it does yeah you think it does so we'll look at that at a later date because what lewis is dying to do now is to get on because as you've seen that time actually sanded all these brakes so he's going to paint these brakes blue now i'm just going to show him how to do it because he's never done it before and um yeah so that's that one Right, that's the end of Tuesday. I'm going to just give my MX-5 a good wash down and a clean down and a polish. Maybe clean the van as well because it's a bit dusty. Bella's looking out at the edge of it, but you can't see it. It's that sunny outside and windy. That's why I'm just in the office because I don't want to give you all... All that stuff. Because tomorrow I'm off on my John. I'm going down to Burt Power to have a look at their shop. And the following day we're off to Goodwood as VIP guests with the DHL hospitality suite, which I am like buzzing, can't wait to do that. Somebody would think to invite me. So that's really nice. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll see in the morning. Lewis has got smashed on with that Fiesta. I'm not really putting a lot of that into the week at Shine, though, because I want people to actually watch that when it's his sole video. So he's been painting the brakes on that today. He's done a mint job. Right, so we'll see you Tuesday. It's way late into Tuesday evening and Lewis has gone home. And that's Lewis's attempt of painting them brakes, which I think he's done a fantastic job. He's never done the brakes before, painted them like that. So, well in Lewis again, getting this all sorted out. So, there the brakes all done. Wicked. Just missed John, where well, I was busy chatting to him because I'm getting ready to go away. And John's made these seat mounts. So, these seat mounts are a copy, nearly, of them seat mount mounts with John's own little touches and these are available in our in our store now we they're they're sided because the longer ones go at the back so they're what's going in the turbo k so we have a set of them they come unpainted so you can paint them the color of your car because that'll look thick when you open the door if that parts the color of your car on your on your bucket seat but if you want them powder coin we can sort some out and then sam's going to make the seat frames with that bit of box section and then two bits of flat bar very nice right so it is wednesday and sam is taking over the week on shine from now for the next well for today the week in shine is sam and tomorrow the week is shine because i am going to go and attempt to film a totally different sort of video we'll see if it works because i'm off to the good goodwood festival of speed i've been invited as a vip guest going away again and you can film on the HDR as well.
team, the Red Arrows. We have confirmed a full rolling and flat. The full being 5,500 feet cloud base, rolling 2,500 feet, and a flat show 1,000. The team slowing down to 150 miles now, at approximately 5,500 feet as Red One brings the team down towards the ground and bends it to the right. Red One, the team leader this year, is squad leader Tom Bowl. Tom is in his second year as team leader, having previously served as synchro lead and is also a qualified flying instructor on Takano Hawk Team Mark II and he flew the Typhoon operationally. Smoke comes on as the team move from the shape you can see now, seven arrow into shuttle. Get red two, three, four and five, move backwards. And they perform the first of our big space shaped themes. Patrick Kershaw, known as Paddy. He has previously flown Tornado at Marum with 9 Bomber Squadron and has also flown Co Typhoon on 11 and 12 Squadron's Aria Coningsby. Red 1 calls for Red 4 and 5 to roll around the formation as they're smoking the red, white and blue. As the formation brings to the right hand side, look for the colour change from Reds 4 and 5. Red 5 smoking red. Flight attendant Dave Simmons. Simo has previously flown Tornado GO4 and has also flown the Harrier and F5 while on change with the United States Marine Corps. Right, that's the caddy all done. New discs, new pads, two new calipers. Lewis is uh, scratching the floor off where we're gonna be putting an eyelet for the four point, five point harness, one in there. This is all waiting to get welded up. Lewis is sorting his side out where his seat goes. Yeah. Oh, Colin didn't want any green on this car because it's not his race car. So I left Lewis in charge of painting the seat brackets and so he can paint in whatever color he wants, so. Uh, so there you go. Right, that's the KA seat frame fronts welded in. All for the harness, all for the harness. So now we're gonna get this cleaned out, give it a bit of paint, get the rest put back together. Welded in, bit of paint. Job done. Seat number one, fitted. Right, it's Friday, Lewis is taking some brakes to bits on Russell's van because he just likes to destroy his vans constantly. It needs two track rod ends, drop link, and a couple of other bits, so... What do you say, Lewis? Everything. Say everything. Nice. It's on to the afternoon and I'm back. Sam's got the brakes done on R Russell's van, on that van there, and we've just pulled the KA in. And we're just doing a few teething jobs and just checking it over the clamp for the exhaust that snapped off where sam's put the the brace in the back and we bolted up behind the shockers we're just going to chop them them bolts off there just the excess bit of bolts on there they were clear but when the weight's on it it gets a lot closer so we'll get the ends of them chopped chopped off 
and then just go around with a nut and bolt and make sure it's all right. Just nut and bolt check it and make sure it's all tickety boo. Lewis is getting ready to swap the wheels off. We fitted some really knackered, well half knackered in jerk wheel tyres on that we can run off on the track day. I think the pads are fairly all right on this still as well. I'll get that clamp welded up. So, I have no idea what footage Sam got. So why I'm on with this, I'm just, think, just filming it. Now their seats, harnesses and early in, I just need to do a little bit of modification for the for the strap that goes in your ghoulies, round your ghoulies. That's what my dad used to call it, my ghoulies. So there's just a strap that goes around there and then I'm just going to give inside a bit of a spruce up and just work out, because this keeps folding over, and work out maybe a change, change of round of the inside and then just give the floor a bit of a wash down on the inside. I'll just give it a spam up. But these are the frames painted now. I think Lewis painted them while I was away at Goodwood. So they're the frames you can get. They're only being rattle canned, but they're still cool. Plenty of adjustment on them as well. So they are... If you want a set of them, they're going up for sale in our uh, merch store to help out with the stuff of the channel. If we can start doing a little bit of fab bits and bits like that, maybe grow a bit more of an online shop, we can spend more time doing these projects and getting some of these projects finished that need in doing. So I'm going to change the, do a bit of graphics on the outside. Hello, baby. Hello, everyone. So yeah, I'm gonna wash it, just give it a quick wash on the outside and I'm gonna put a pinstripe along that swage line and I'm gonna get a shine sticker in this in this area. I'm trying just, just to cover this this little bit of a, you know, K syndrome going on there. So yeah, very cool, very cool. makes it look a bit more funky gives it our own little shine twist so right i'm gonna go through the stickers and see what else i can put on it make it look a bit more racy be about it for friday so another week in shine video out the way episode 14 so we're out of that 13 unlucky for some video did well anyway so yeah well um we'll see you on monday when we're on a track day with this and we'll start the week at shine all again so i've been calling that's been sam there's Lewis over there thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one